What's going on, YouTube? Hey, check it out. What if I told you that G Fuel may not be the best gaming product on the market? What if I told you that there's something that is a whole lot better and probably a lot more cheaper? Would you believe me? But hey, check this out. I got something, some facts I'm going to put in front of you today. What I got here now is Spasmatic. Owned and produced by one and only Tim Mariello, okay? I'll leave the link in the description where you can pick this up if you're interested. But for right now, we're going to go over all the supplements that's inside these products. And we're going to compare the two and let you decide what you think is best, all right? So stick with me and let's check this out right here. Okay, first up, we got Spasmatic. 30 servings for $29.99, okay? And we got G Fuel. $27.95 for 40 servings. Now, hold on. I know you said cheaper, Mr. Headquarters. Now listen, don't get too far ahead of me here because here in a minute I'm going to tell you how. All right, so let's dive in and see what we can't figure out here. Spasmatic niacin, we're setting at 40 milligrams. Okay, that's 250% of your daily dose. G Fuel on niacin, we're setting at 15 milligrams. So right now, spasmatic is double, over double your niacin, okay, right off top. Okay, your B12, 2,000 micrograms, okay? That's 83,333% of your daily value. That is what a doctor would prescribe to you if you went and got a B12 shot for energy. You hear a lot of older people or whatever get tired and say, well, I want a B12, and they got all kind of energy. They're running around. Normally, that's because of B12. And also, your Monster Energy drinks, most of the time, is going to be full of B12 and niacin. That's just... Most of your two key ingredients there that are going to really give you a boost with some caffeine. Uh, looking at the supplement facts of G Fuel on B12, you're at 425 micrograms, which is only 7,083% of your daily value. Now you compare the two there, 425 and 2,000. I mean, kind of powered down on spasmatic and watered down on G Fuel if you ask me, but we're going to slip on down and keep on checking this out here. Sodium. Okay, on sodium, we're setting at 39 milligrams at spasmatic, and we're setting at 79 milligrams on G Fuel. I mean, I'm not a big salt guy, but I know when you sweat it out, you need to replace your body with some kind of salt. But me, I'm going to go with the lowest salt factor just because I'm not a big fan of salt. I mean, I know it's part of electrolytes and stuff like that to replenish the body, but, you know, if I was a C2 products, and I saw the lower salt form, I'm going to probably go with it just because, like I said, I'm not a big salt fan. All right, potassium. Okay, we really can't uh, compare potassium to G Fuel because I have not seen it in the product. But you and I know both, we probably don't get enough potassium in a daily value, so this right here wouldn't hurt just to throw it in. I mean, it keeps your body from cramping and stuff. You never know. You might get out of your gaming chair, go take a break or get some refreshments and, you know, have a hamstring tighten up on you or something. I mean, you can't ever go wrong with, with potassium, in my opinion, at 35 milligrams. So let's bump on down to the total spaz energy squad, as he calls it. We're looking at l taurine at 2,000 milligrams, which is a good bit of l taurine man. Ah. So let's step on over to G Fuel. All right, as you notice, G Fuel, they have it listed right up over there, over there. The energy complex is 1.85 grams, and it's full of taurine, L-citrulline, malate, caffeine, and so on and so on. Okay, that right there is what we call a red flag in the bodybuilding world. To me, if I saw something like that, I'm like, man, it's a cheap product. This is, this is fake. Well, you're saying, man, it's got all the chemicals you need. Okay, but if you're not familiar with the proprietary blend, that is a huge red flag in the bodybuilding world, and you're seeing people shy away from it left and right because their stuff is just not selling no more okay what that is 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 say they could take this uh the seed extract they could fill a bucket up they could put 1.6 grams of that seed in there and fill the rest of it up with your main key ingredients and as long as they have that ingredient in that product they're able to list it but usually you see them put it in proprietary blends just for the simple fact of is is they got it in there so it'll catch your eye. So as long as it's in that pot, they can put it on there. And you see it? Okay. Boom. But what they don't tell you is 
is hey we just barely put a little bit in there just so we can say we had it in there so that right there is a red flag to me yeah they might have some good key ingredients in there but they do not list the only thing they will list is the caffeine at 150 milligrams which i mean who wouldn't list caffeine they don't want to uh the velvet bean seed extract they don't want to list that because it's probably overpowered in that so we're not going to go all through that we're just going to go ahead and say that the l taurine is 2000 milligrams okay already just an l taurine in the energy you got more than the whole combined proprietary blend of energy complex that g fuel has so that right there red flag on g fuel to me and he lists his caffeine at 400 milligrams and don't get me to talk about this but the I guess it's green tea uh, at 100 milligrams and the uh, anthohydros at 300 milligrams. I'm not sure that's how you say it, but hey, it's kind of like going to a doctor, man. They write stuff on a piece of paper that looks like scribble scratch and you hope you get the right prescription when you leave there. I mean, you can't understand some of these chemicals sometimes. Uh, we got two amino histophenes at 100 milligrams. And you got some hydromine hydrochloride at 300 milligrams and some hydrolene hydrochloride at 300 milligrams. All right, like I said, if you're not familiar with these products or chemicals in this product, I will have a list in the description where you can click on and he will go ahead and have it fully disclosed because he's all about a full disclosure. And you'll be able to check out and he goes through and tells you what all these chemicals do to you and what their benefits that you can receive from them. All right, so let's jump on down to the focus dose duo, as he calls it. The L tyrosine is at 1,000 milligrams. Okay, now we go over to G Fuel at their focus complex. I mean, once again, you have 1,000 milligrams of L tyrosine. Okay, G Fuel is 1.2 grams of another quote proprietary blend. I mean, far as I know, is it could be that leaf extract down at the bottom that they just filled up and kind of just brushed off some crumbs into the blend and throwed it together and said, okay, we can put these chemicals in there. That way we can make it cheaper. These other good chemicals that we really need in a product cost too much. So let's just fill it up with this and call it with a proprietary blend and say it's in here. So once again, we can't compare that because it's a proprietary blend and they do not give a disclosure of what actually you got in there. Okay, so now let's go down to the pump. The L citrulline and the L norvaline. Uh, I know L citrulline is a good brain uh, memory thing. It's sitting at 4,500 milligrams. Uh, I used to take the pills all the time. It's supposed to help you. You know, you take one a day. It's supposed to help you, you know, brain health and everything else. I mean, so you can't go wrong with that. I mean, that, that's a good dose right there. And G Fuel, they don't have anything like that in their system over there in the supplement facts, but they do list a whole antioxidant complex. I mean, which is one point, I mean, 163.5 milligrams. I mean, they go through all these flavors and colors or whatever. But now let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Mr. Headquarters, you said, hey, it's cheaper. Okay, well, I'm gonna break it down to you, man. Spasmatic is so strong that. I wouldn't recommend you take a full scoop. Even Tim Ariello has stated that he does not even take a full scoop. He only takes a half a scoop. So therefore, you can take this 30 servings and make it 60 servings by only taking half a scoop. But I will say if you do try the product, say 12 o'clock in the afternoon, take your full scoop, just try it out. I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna be wired for nine hours. Your brain is just gonna be going. I mean, you're gonna find yourself just thinking about things that you normally don't even think about just really zoned in on you know mind mentality just of things you may have to do in a day or something but right now what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and we're also going to compare it to the 60 servings per container at half a scoop so right here we got the Tim Mariello's spasmatic at 60 servings at half a scoop and then we got the G Fuel still at 40 gram I mean uh, 40 servings at one scoop okay once again at niacin you're sitting at 20 milligrams and on G Fuel you're sitting at 15 milligrams I mean even at half a scoop guys you're already got more niacin than G Fuel has gotten their product okay B12 
B12, 1,000 micrograms. G Fuel, B12, still 425 micrograms. At half a scoop and 60 servings, you still, guys, have more B12 than G Fuel can produce in half a scoop. Okay, magnesium, we're going to skip that just for the fact we, are, you know, we already discussed that and it's not in the product. Sodium, like I said, I'm not a big fan of sodium, but even at half a scoop, we jump that down to 19.5 milligrams. Okay, and sodium at G Fuel is still sitting at 79 milligrams. So, I mean, right now you got more niacin and more B12, less sodium. I mean, that's a win-win to me, baby. So potassium, like I said, we're still at 17.5 milligrams. And can't go wrong with having potassium in your system. We all probably need it just like a greens. You know, I mean, just one of them things we just don't ever get enough of. On the energy squad, the l we're at 1,000 milligrams at half a scoop. And not going through the whole proprietary blend, but, I mean, my gosh, I mean, you're only at 1.85 grams on the energy sources altogether on G Fuel. All right, we got our caffeine at 200 milligrams. Even in the proprietary blend, at half a scoop, you got more caffeine and Tim Mariello spasmatic than you do in the G Fuel proprietary blend that they will list that, okay? Uh, the amino, amino hephistotane and the uh, hydromain hydrochloride and the Hordenline line hydrochloride. They're not listing the products, so we're going to go ahead and skip those. The l tyrosine at 500 milligrams. I mean, once again, we're in those proprietary blends. The Huprazine A1%, uh, 100 micrograms. The L-citrulline is still at 2,250 milligrams. And the l Norvalane is at 100 milligrams. I mean, come on, guys. I don't have to be the one to sit here and tell you G feels watered down, but it's watered down. I mean, all that is 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 hey, somebody got lucky, and their product got thrown into a bunch of tournaments, and now they're advertised everywhere. They give stuff out to gamers and big YouTubers all over online just so they can sell promote their product. Because the more times you see something, the more publicity it's going to get, and more people is going to buy it because hey, so and so uses it, just like somebody has on some shoes well somebody i saw so-and-so wear these shoes i want them i gotta have them i mean all all g feel is to me is is a sales gimmick i mean take it for what it's worth but uh like i said i'm gonna leave a link in the description of tim mariello's uh link to where you can find the full disclosure where he goes through and breaks down every single one of these chemicals and I'm also going to find you the link down below in I'llPumpYouUp.com where it is $29.99, save you a little money. And I'll, if you're still interested, man, i even throw the link down there at G Fuel if you care to pick it up for $27.95 still after watching this video. Man, that's good. Hey, man, y'all still here? Hey, hey I'm going to leave y'all with this. Make sure that y'all hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and turn on that bell for notifications because you know your boy Mr. Headquarters is still grinding to level 1000 Call of Duty World War II. So I'm going to be having them live streams going live almost daily. And you know as soon as Black Ops 4 comes out, your boy Mr. Headquarters is going to be on that as well. All right. But I'm going to leave y'all with that. Let y'all get out of my hair because your boy got some more CWL to watch tonight. Man, them boys are going off in them tournaments. But hey, y'all get out of my hair, man. I, I, I don't talk to y'all enough, man. Peace.